Hey folks, this is Matt Rainwater, and today we're going to be reading episode 75 of Trailer Park Warlock. Uh, this is the episode that starts the uh, episode where we go to Burning Foot. Uh, this is a really fun one. And so let's not wait any longer. Jake, Herman, thanks again for all your help. I threw in a little tip after all that trouble of gone on. So we're at Russ's place. Oh, there's a little Arise right there. I don't know if you can see him. Ah, oh, thanks, man. You didn't have to do that. I ain't seen this many zeros in one place since the cadavers lost to the rock slides. Cha-ching. You're both very welcome. So, any big plans for your weekends? Herman and I have a gig out at Burning Foot tomorrow. Bev mentioned something about Burning Foot. Is that what all those shirtless vagabonds do out in the desert? Not quite, but still really shirtless. Burning Foot's the biggest sacred arts festival in the country. It's a week-long melting pot for magically inclined folk to share their wares and knowledge with each other. But it's so much more than that. For the Sasquatch, it also commemorates the first meeting between our elders and the Elvenkin. Hamflit the Wise... Hold on, y'all. I'm having some issues. Hamflit the Wise sanctified every autumnal equinox as the time of the dance. So every year, the Elven King leave the safety of the back roads to share their knowledge, dance, and song in an exchange we call the Rave. The Rave is a time of devotion to the infinite spectacles of spirit as we merge again after our year apart and meditate on the year ahead. It's also a hell of a lot of fun because the Elven King know how to throw a wicked party. So now we're bringing the elves back, right? There's uh, the episode of Darla in the Back Roads where we kind of first got an idea of the elves who live back there. Sounds like a good time, you two. Well, safe travels and bring me back a souvenir if you don't mind. Will do, Russ. Vroom. <laughs> Herman is too big to fit in Jake's cabin. <laughs> so he just sits in the tail... Oh, he just sits in the... Uh, what do you call that? Not the tailgate. The... Um, the thing. <laughs> I forget what it's called. Jake Baker and the Strange Days at Burning Foot. So we got these elves pulling out of their hippie bus. Some kind of crazy crystal meditation stuff. Um, I actually really like some of the character designs I did for this too. Especially that one's like a really cool one right there. Come here, you fools. It's been too long. That character, by the way, um, that is a callback to a character from a totally different series that I drew called Garage Raja uh, about 10 years ago now, more than 10 years. Um, there's a character named Gernst, and he was... Uh, Garage Raja is about music, so I was like, oh, it'd be kind of fun to just do a little elven cameo version of that character. Oh, uh, hey, Jake. What's up? I'll meet you at the Mancer's Union tent tomorrow morning for setup, all right? Sure thing. See you then. Yeah, just one thing. Where does a warlock get a bite to eat around here? They didn't set it up like they did last year. Gurgle. They moved the food stalls into the northern quad this year over by the Crystal Skull Center. I'd veer away from the Sasquatch stalls since the elves always like always make the best natural food stuff. Nature food. Later, man. Gotta go. Like I'm, like I'm some kind of rabbit. Hell, just when you think you know a guy. <laughs> it's a food truck called Culinary Feet. Two corn dogs and a chili cheese fry. Oh, no, sir. Your money's no good here. We take blessings. Well, hell, blessings? How many you want? That's my nine to five. I've got talismans, amulets, enchantments, curses, you name it. If you need a specific spell for yourself or another, I can get it done before the festival is over. My neck's been feeling kind of naked lately. Y'all take blessings? Just cold, hard cash, please. The most important rule of the Dido man... Uh, uh, hold on, y'all. I wrote this word out, and I can't even say it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the most important rule of edemomancy... I can't say it. Edemomancy. 
because it's supposed to be EDM. That's like the pun there. The most important role of a DM EDM romancy. <laughs> I put this on myself. Is just go with it. This isn't like typical Western magical practices where intention is everything. With the groove, you want as little intention as possible. Fill the space and let loose. Also, vinyl is superior to anything else. Don't come at me with your cassettes or digital crap. So Jake got a new um, thing. Uh, the bracelet. I don't know, whatever you call it. Neck brace. Ah, Jake Baker, if mine eyes doth deceive me not. Oh, Mr. McKinney. Please, Lenny will suffice. Will you be attending the Mansers Union workshop in the morning? I'll be heading that with my cohort, Tabitha. Well, actually, I'm part of the demo gang, ain't I? Y'all are paying me for it anyway. You are? You're drinking that sugary bile? Well, Jake, please take a moment to purge your system before tomorrow morning. Why is that? I wish I could speak on this more, but I've got an alchemical goods supplier I need to rendezvous with. Just please find a diuretic, a laxative, anything to get that junk out of your system. I oh, said stomach, but I said system. What is he on about? Nobody told me a, a nothing about a diet. Can't take that man half as seriously as he thinks he should be taken. Poor man's got his head half in the heavens. Dude. Dude! Wub, 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 wub. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do all the wubs for the elf, <laughs> the elf music. Wub, wub. Jake, what are you eating, dude? Did you forget? Forget what? The pamphlet for tomorrow's workshop said we couldn't eat any sugar, bread, or processed foods. Did you just glaze over that part? You could be putting your body under serious stress and inflammation with that stuff, man. Wait a minute. What now? There was a pamphlet? Come on, man. Let's at least try and sweat some of this crap out with the elves. What the hell, Herman? Let's cut to the next day. Hey, Jake. Jake. I actually feel kind of sad that I did. You know, I just want to just take a moment. I really feel like there's a bit missing where we should have seen Jake dancing with the elves, and he hates it. I kind of missed that opportunity. Anyway, cut to the next day. Hey, Jake? Jake? There's like an elf wrapped up in Jake's jacket here. We got a half hour before the workshop. Come on, buddy. We still got to get ready. Herman, my legs are killing me. Can you just carry me there? Mansers Union 2311, Pharmalurgian Shimanomancy, New Horizons. Welcome, everyone. My name is Tabitha Lilly, and I'm accompanied here by none other than Elder Lenny McKinney. Welcome, everyone. By the way, Tabitha Lilly is uh, a play on Timothy Leary, who was another psychonaut kind of guy. Look him up. Now, for those of you uninitiated, Pharmalurgy and Sermonomancy have long been parted siblings in the field of... I, hold on, y'all. I need to figure out who's... I think this is Tabitha that's talking. It could be either. Now, for those of you uninitiated, Pharmalurgy and, and Sermonomancy have long been parted siblings in the field of spirit research and chakra exchange. Due to government inf interference, union mandates, and numerous historical impositions, there just hasn't been enough study done into the combinatory impact of these two highly synchronous fields. I should have read that pamphlet. Yeah, man, I was surprised you agreed to this. But for myself and Mr. McKinney, we aim to tear down the borders between the spirit and the chemical, to take one step further towards the dream of a panacea for all the diseases and weariness of our world. Well put, Tabitha. After a decade of work, we're ready to unveil a new pharmalurgical compound to the world, starting with everybody at this workshop today. Tabitha, would you like to take the honors? Why, certainly. Some of you may already be familiar with a shamanic healing ritual. Derived from the poison of the giant leaf frog in South America, 
Otherwise called combo, this ritual has been known for its healing and purgative effects on the recipient's body. But Mr. McKinney and I have been working on a recipe that might offer a double whammy of health benefits for the body and soul. This morning, thanks to some daring volunteers, we'll be able to, de to demonstrate this compound and hopefully its benefits before your very eyes. <laughs> Jake's got like this grim frog, grim reaper standing on his head. Wrote it. Uh, yeah, that's cool. But what's this stuff called? Oh well, Lenny, I give the you the honors, dear. In that case, we shall call it the wombo combo. To be continued. And the tarot for the week is uh, Seven of Cups. This is actually one of my favorites in regards to just, like, the picture itself. I put in a lot of, uh, there's, like, a little nod to Church of the Subgenius. is uh, Gene Rayburn. <laughs> it's actually my favorite part of this because uh, I wanted to go with, I wanted to thematically connect the Seven of Cups with sort of a, the spirit of a game show, which is something I kind of got out of reading about Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is largely about having too many choices to make. Um, it can also be about indecision and being basically bombarded with opportunity and possibility and trying to make heads or tails of what is all in front of you, which can oftentimes be the case for a game show, right? Um, anyway, um, let's do one more pass over this comic to see if I had anything else I want to say in regards to this episode. Um, so this was one of those episodes where I kind of had this, I literally read somebody's comment who was like, you know, Jake without his neck thing is kind of missing something. I kind of agreed. And so I took this opportunity to just, like, give him an excuse to buy a new one. And I also want – this was a season where I let Jake try on a bunch of different hats because I was feeling weird about the red hat for numerous various reasons. And um, so I was like, okay, well, let's try this burning foot hat out, right? Um, and it also worked in a way because it's the exact same colors as his neck brace. So – um, or neck bracelet. I don't know what to call that thing. Um, what did I call it previously? The talisman? Anyway. Because he has that thing, it just made... Our, the way I did it was like, okay, this will make it much easier to flat because I now just have two colors I have to switch between when flatting them. Very practical reason, right? Uh, although the design is a lot more complicated right than even like uh his grand's hat or like his rock slides hat um of course the simplest one is his red hat so i messed around with that in this episode and this was also a fun episode of just like doing a huge going back to the seven of cups there's a huge variety of things to draw like i'm bringing back all the little like fairies or pixies or whatever from um, the Darl in the Backroads episode. Uh, I'm also, I did a lot of uh, watching like videos from Burning Man, something I still want to do, but haven't had the opportunity to do yet. And this is basically me kind of working out my own feelings of envy. Also, we get to see the year that this is taking place. This is in 1999. Um, although I don't know if Burning Man happened. Um, I don't think Burning Man happened until the aughts, but this is alternate universe, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, so, yeah, this is a fun episode. I like to draw the elves and the Sasquatch and all that stuff. Just kind of go in a different territory than I usually would. And also, this is an excellent episode for just drawing Jake with a lot of goofy faces while he's, like, eating and drinking and stuff. I had a lot of fun doing that. So, anyway, uh, I'll leave y'all with that. If y'all have any other questions about this episode, 
Uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll definitely get to them and answer them. Um, always a joy to talk about this stuff with y'all. And uh, I hope you're all having a good day. And also, one final note. Um, starting with the commentary for episode 76, we're going to time warp back into the past because that's when I have episodes already recorded. So I'll be probably about a year younger um, in a different environment. And it's going to be like that for about 20 episodes because of how I recorded this. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Should be interesting for y'all. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. Uh, as always, I will also uh, be responding to y'all's comments from the present. <laughs> and um, y'all enjoy yourselves, all right? Uh, we will talk again soon. Until then, bye.